Here we have a glow plug check using a 12 volt battery and some jump leads. So these glow plugs have come out of the car and they're a bit suspicious. So um, there we go, the earth is on the um, side of the glow plug and the positive is on the um, other end where the terminal goes and you can see that glow plug there is working quite alright. Whether or not it is up to spec, I don't know. Um, we're going to be looking at using a, um, a meter later on. Um, to check the resistance. Here we go again with another one. That one doesn't look as good. Although it's red, it didn't move up that quickly up the stem. The car these have come out of has um, done 125,000 miles, so they're the originals. Um, that would be suspicious. It's been cold start problems really. Um, six cranks of the uh, engine to get it started and a plume of white smoke. Um, you can tell when the broke have possibly gone when you're taking them out by the look. If that, um, if they're covered in carbon like that one is, so you can see that one just doesn't work. That's dead. Um, so that's a quick indicator as you remove the plugs from the car as to what's going on. Um, but yeah nothing out of that one. That's three of them. And then this final one. So there we go again. There you go. So that one's alright. Probably degraded a little bit. Um, it's a 12 volt battery I'm using, um, the feed on it on the car I measured it at 9 volts so as these are old plugs I'm not really bothered but don't do this with new plugs in case um, yeah, the, the voltage is lower. So yeah, that's how you test when they're out using a jump lead and um, some battery but um, what you can do, I'm also in place the car, the auto came out, is using a, a meter, cheap meter um, set to the um, resistance arms and then just um, go through and check to see what the reading is. Um, that one's completely gone, open circuit. That was the, the dead one with the um, soot on it, carbon. This one, it should be about one ohm, I think it is. So that's about just under two, I think. So that's probably okay. And I just went through the others as well, um, getting funny readings off one of them, like way out altogether. That's probably a suspicious one, although it, it worked on the glow test itself. Um, I was trying to get a good point to kind of press onto the glow plug while I was filming as well. Um, it's just a bit fiddly. And also, when you do the battery test, when you get them glowing, make sure that you let the things cool down because they get very hot and stay hot for quite a long time. So, I think the lowest that went down to was four. About three, two. When you're making better contacts, 1.8, that's better. So, yeah, that one was fairly okay. And then this last one. One point four. One point three. Yeah, so you can do the same test with them in, in the car. I think you need to take the um, the wire that fixes on top of them off and then do the um, the meter so earth it and then just touch the tip and see what reading you get. So out of my plugs, that one was the um, duff one, which um, I ended up replacing the whole lot uh, rather than replacing um, just the one.